Hey there folks and welcome to this video, this one here is a song of the week for those of you unaware of what that is in this channel is where I sit down and talk about music for a few minutes. And uh, this is an interesting one because I accidentally missed Christmas. Usually I do a Christmas song. Usually. And sometimes they're quite fun. I think my first one I did Christmas Time with the Darkness, which I actually haven't heard in ages now come to think of it. Um, might even be a year now. And... I think the other ones I had was Blink-182 and another Christmas song. I think I had a Wham at one point. I always lose Whamageddon, so it doesn't really matter to me listening to Wham at all. It's a pretty decent song anyways. <laughs> but this year I accidentally missed it, because usually I'll make sure I've got one right before Christmas, and uh, that was really last week's one, which was Dead by Sunrise. Now, this is the last one of 2020, and I didn't want to then go back and retcon and pick something Christmassy. I wanted to think something that would try to sum up the year for me. And from that, it meant that it had to come out in 2020, because it was one produced before everything that's happened has happened. But it's a song in the South Emic from an album that. I haven't finished my list yet, but it's probably going to be up there as album of the year. As by one of my favourite artists who I, before this year, had seen live every year for five years. Is it five years? Four years. It would have been five years this year because I was booked to see them. So it would have been 16, 17, 18, 19. And Shikari. Well, I haven't picked in ages. I was looking back, and this is number 286. Last time I picked Shikari was 265. I honestly didn't think it had been that long, but 20 weeks. 100 days, 140 days. <laughs> so, I've picked a lot of stuff off of Nothing's True and Everything is Possible. I haven't picked this one. This one is also a nice way to end out the year, and it's anthemic. And for me, has the kind of core message that 2020 has for me. Which is called Crossing the Rubicon. It's got uh, references to Beckett. It's about persevering and just keeping on going. That's where some of my... Um, Some of my uh, kind of favourite songs are, I mean, I like Wink Park's Push Me Away From Live in Texas because Chester gives a message about perseverance and self-belief just before that song starts. For this, you've got, now we're crossing the Rubicon, we've tried everything under the sun, so we're crossing the Rubicon because it's too late. Or you've got the something sort of give, we've come too far to turn back. It's kind of... Push forward, believe in yourself, persevere. You've got hardships coming at you, but you can take them one at a time. It's, again, the other thing. Instrumentally, it's strong, powerful, pronounced, anthemic. Rao, I think, makes note of the fact that some of the synths call back to Take to the Skies and Labyrinth. Which, that is a massive callback. <laughs> but it's something that Shikari do. I mean, the spark was brilliant because of how it departed from using all the kind of digital synths that they'd come to use and going back to what they used to use with analog synths where you just, you build up the layers. Analog synths, even if you're using them in a DAW like Logic, I could say from production kind of point of view, are a completely different machine. And they are so much fun to work with. Yeah, in a year where we've seen so many different things happening. I think that it's nice to close out with this. So you can find Cross and Rubricon in the description section down below here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'd see you around. Bye for now.